Hello, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are here today. I appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos. Uh, today, we're gonna do something kind of fun. I have three short styles that I love to wear in the summer. And you guys are always reaching out and wanting to know what wigs I wear and which ones I've you know, bought on repeat and things like that. So um, I have three Ellen Villa wigs. They are both very, very similar in style and they are perfect as the uh, weather warms up for the summer. So I thought I would just share them all three in a video. So I'm wearing Nola right now and the color on this one is Toffee Brown Shaded. Beautiful, beautiful, cute little style. And then I have Esprit and I also have Dance. And you know, I have told you many times, Dance is one of my favorites. So all of these wigs were provided by wigs.com for me to do content with. And so I just decided to do a little compilation with the three of them and show them to you. So we'll get started in just a minute. start off by looking at Nola. Like I said, this is toffee brown shaded, really pretty, darker, you know, medium to dark brunette. Such a cute little style. I love her little flip. She has just a slight wave. You know, she's pretty straight coming off the top. I love the swoop here that goes by the face. And then she's got just really light, lightly textured, uh, really lightened up ends so that they kind of flip up, they kind of curl it, you know, they just do their thing. Looks very, very natural. And that's why I think Nola is such a cute style. So Nola and Esprit are so close to each other in style, measurements, everything, um, that I like to recommend them as uh, alternatives to one another because the price point on Nola is just a little bit lower because the Esprit has a hand tie cap, Nola has a wefted cap that ha just has a mono part and an extended lace front. So if you love Esprit, but it's too expensive or you love Nola, you know, between the two, uh, another thing, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting, my thoughts are all getting all jumbled up. Okay. So price-wise, there's a difference, obviously. If Esprit's too expensive, try Nola. Um, but also color-wise, they come in different colors from one another. And you know, Ellen Villa only releases their wigs in so many of their beautiful colors. So maybe Esprit doesn't come in, the, in a color that you like, but Nola does. So that's another great thing is they're so similar that you know, you could easily um, sub one for the other and, um, you know, get the color that you really want. You're going to basically get almost the exact same style. So uh, I'm just going to kind of do a quick overview of each wig. So the measurements, I want to look at no less or um, Esprit's measurements at the same time because they're so close to each other. So um, for Nola, this front is eight inches um, and on Esprit, it's 7.5 inches. For Nola, the crown is 9.25 inches. On Esprit, the crown is 10 inches. You're seeing this? It's very similar. Uh, the sides on Nola are seven and a half inches. The sides on Esprit are 7.25 inches. Uh, the nape on Nola is four inches. And then the nape on Esprit is 7.25 inches. That seems long. I'm gonna to have to double check that, but that was the measurement that I got off of the website. Hold on. Let's take a look at that. That doesn't look like 7.25 inches to me. I'm gonna remeasure that and get back to you whenever we're talking about a spree. But anyway, so you can see they're almost the exact same wig. I, I feel like that nape, the nape looks the same to me. So I'll double check that measurement. That could be a typo or it just could be you know, incorrect. I have found sometimes wig measurements that are not entirely correct. So Nola is an extended lace front that has a left mono part. These are petite average caps, all three of these, and they are not heat friendly fibers, just regular synthetic. So I gave you the measurements already, regular synthetic. Um, I'll show you the cap. So I'm gonna show you the cap for Nola and I'm gonna show you the cap for Esprit because the cap for Dance is exactly like the cap for Nola. So I'll show you this here. Same cap. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the cap for, between NOLA and dance, I'm just gonna show you the cap for NOLA. So there's that left mono part that goes to the crayon, extended true temple to temple lace front, soft ear tab with a metal stay, open wefted cap, extended nape with Velcro adjusters. There is some permatease that I can feel on NOLA up here on the top. Flip her around and really look at it. I can feel it like right in this area just a teasing where the hair is attached to the wefts. I don't feel it as much as I go down the back of the wig and then let me check the nape. Not feeling it at the nape, not feeling it. A little bit on the sides, not feeling it at the ear tabs though. So just a little bit, I think probably throughout this just body of the wig at the top of the body of the wig, but not so much going down, just to give a little bit of lift up here, but it's not like super poofy and nesty or anything like that. Okay, I did wanna talk about this color. I forgot to do that. So this is Toffee Brown Shaded. So the code for this one is an 830 and a 27. So it is a medium brown that's blended with light auburn and a dark strawberry blonde. Really, really pretty color. You can see the dimension there and the lighting. I would, I would describe it as a medium, like a dark medium brown. It kind of struck me, um, the darkness of the shade kind of struck me when I put it on. I think it's a beautiful brunette, but it's definitely leaning, not quite so, you know, medium. I would say that the brunette that's on this mocha lighted, mocha rooted, I have mocha lighted and mocha rooted, is like, you know, is more like a medium brown. Of course, it's highlighted a little bit more, but you know, this one is just medium, leaning a little darker, but not a dark brown. The color outdoors. I'm under my patio cover. So now I am wearing Dance by Ellen Villa, and the color on this one is Mocha Rooted. One of my favorite wigs. She's just so cute. So this is the waviest of these three styles. And that's one thing that I love about Dance is that she just has a naturally, just a loose wave, kind of a naturally messy look that makes her super, super easy to wear. You don't always have to worry that the hair is, you know, perfect. Uh, the wind can blow it a little bit. It can get a little tousled and it holds the style, but it really just kind of gets cute, cuter, like the more that you tousle with her. So I just think she is just such a cute style. So for this one, I'm not, I don't think this one I feel any permatease in, whereas I did definitely feel it. Okay, there's a little bit right here. But this one has always felt really low density. Okay, so a little here on the sides. Okay, right in this area. Not even feeling it when we come off, you know, up here on the top. Whereas with Nola, I was feeling it on the sides there and also, you know, back here. So she's just so cute. I mean, such an easy little style to wear. I do have one little flyaway here. So I got it really fluffed up here, don't I? All right, so measurements for, I have three <laughs> papers here with all this wig information. Okay, so measurements for dance are seven and, a half, seven and a half inches here in the front, whereas it was seven and a half on Esprit and eight on Nola. Um, nine and a half at the crown. It was 10 inches on Esprit and 9.25 inches on Nola. So you can see these are all very, very similar. Um, the nape, uh, sorry, the sides, seven and a half inches, which I think is pretty consistent. 7.25 inches for a spree, 7.5 inches also for Nola. So same as Nola. And then the nape on this one is two and a half inches. So that's one place where I do see a difference in these. This one has a two and a half inch. And I think that Nola even though it said seven something, I don't think that was right. I may have written that down wrong. I gotta double check that. Um, but both of those have about a four inch nape. Esprit. 
uh, four inch nape on Nola, as free as the one that I'm not sure if that nape measurement is correct. So this one is two and a half. It's definitely shorter, you know, than the two other styles. And I'll, I'm gonna do some, uh, I'll put some side-by-sides where I'll do a turn so that you can see all of them side-by-side -side in the video as well. So I'll show you the lace front for dance. Looks really, really good. And we'll talk about the color too in a minute. So it is an extended lace front. So two temple to temple, left side part, same cap construction, remember, as NOLA. Got great, great coverage at the ear tabs. Petite average cap again, just like NOLA, NOLA and Esprit, they're all three petite average caps. They're all three regular synthetic. So, okay, so let's look at this color real quick. Uh, this is the Mocha Rooted, which is 830, 12, 20. This is a medium brown, a light brown, and a light auburn blend that has a dark root. So not super dark, doesn't stray too far from, you know, the brunettes that are in the shade. This is a really highlighted, cute, you know, pretty warm uh, brunette. My patio cover is Mocha Rooted on Dance. There's the lace front. Okay, third super cute style that I love for summer is Ellen Villa Esprit. And the color on this one is Mocha Lighted. So I think I'm gonna do a video showing Mocha Rooted and Mocha Lighted uh, just to do a little color comparison because I think that might be good uh, to help you differentiate these you know, colors and everything. So um, I did go back and look at the measurements on Esprit. I did measure the nape and I got a three inch measurement. So we have two and a half inch on dance, three inch on Esprit, and then four inch nape on Nola. So they're just, you know, the nape is just gets gradually a little bit longer. So otherwise they have such similar measurements. So, but I did want to make sure that I clarified that. So Esprit is definitely the luxury cap. It's the hand tied cap. It's still only a left mile part. This portion over here is hand tied. So, you know, the knots are gonna look bigger on that side and everything. So I would still go with just a left mono part, but she has extended lace front. Knots look really, really good, especially on Mocha Lighted because the color's so light there um, at the lace line. And then there's that left mono part. Ear tabs, the cap is, this is such a light, airy wig. You don't even feel it on your head. I'm surprised, what's the weight on this one? Uh, 2.65, it feels like it weighs, I don't know, less than two ounces. It just has almost no weight to it all, at all. Again, it's petite average. Again, it is regular synthetic. So just so, so cute. I'm gonna give you the measurements. I know I've kind of covered them already, but so seven and a half here in the front, uh, 10 inch from the crown, 7.25 inch sides, whereas the other two had seven and a half inch sides and then three inch nape. So, you know, just very, very similar in measurements. So this beautiful color is Mocha Lighted. And um, I love these highlights around the face. That's where you're getting the light, you know, that they're talking about. They just bring in some blonde that lightens it up and really pretty that you have that beautiful highlight right by the face. So the description for Mocha Lighted is a light brown base with light caramel blonde highlights and a darker nape. So they're saying the color's a little darker back here at the nape. It's just so pretty. Really pleased with both, all the mocha colors. They have hot mocha colors that have a little more red to them, so. And there's reviews for all three of these wigs and a lot of the other uh, Ellen Villa colors and styles on my channel. So I have a whole Ellen Villa playlist that has a lot in it because I'm petite average, so their wigs fit me really, really nicely. The Mocha Lighted.
Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this little style comparison of these three really cute styles by Ellen Villa. I do have links through wigs.com, their affiliate links that you can purchase with a 30% discount in you know any of these wigs. And I will put those down in the description box. I do earn a small commission when you shop through those links. So I really appreciate you using them. And it's nice that wigs.com gives you all a 30% discount when you shop those links as well. So thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.